Hey everybody, it's Ricky with Apple Valley Farm. Good morning. It is, uh, it's morning here in Georgia and Jack, it's chilly. It's chilly, it's a reminder that summer is definitely gone and it's a reminder to me that the holidays are definitely on the way. It's 44 degrees this morning and it's rainy so it's really a nasty day out, but we've got a lot to do. The thing we're gonna do today is we've got this charcuterie board that we made out of some beautiful old growth heart pine. And I love the look of this. I just love it. Uh, it is, this is one of my favorite woods. This is so beautiful. But with it being a charcuterie board, we can't just leave it like this. We've got to put some kind of a sealant on it. Usually we would use mineral oil. That's kind of our go-to sealant for our cutting and charcuterie boards but this is just too porous. When we put the mineral oil on this, it soaks it in like a sponge. I mean, it really soaks it in and it just darkens the wood to the point to where it loses a lot of its natural beauty, or at least in my opinion. So I'm looking for something else to put on here that won't be so aggressive, that won't darken the wood so much. Now we've used beeswax in the past before, but I've only used it on our maple boards. Now maple is gonna have a really tight grain, so it's not, the mineral oil doesn't affect it, doesn't affect the color that much, and the beeswax affects it almost none as far as color goes. So I'm hopeful that maybe this heart pine will behave in the same way. So I haven't put the beeswax on it before, but we're gonna try it now, and I'm gonna take you along with me as we do it. So let's put this on here, and let's see how it turns out. All right, let's see how this behaves. Obviously, I've got some gloves on here now, just because I wanna keep that wax from getting all over my hands, because it can be hard to get off. All right, this wax, is beautiful on its own. Wow, it's gorgeous. So I'm just gonna take a, um, take an old handkerchief, any old cloth will do. And let's get some of this on here. There we go. And let's see how it does. I'm gonna rub this in there, just in small circular, with a small circular motion. And as I said, this is an experiment. I've never applied beeswax to a board like this before, so we're gonna see how it does, but so far, that looks amazing. And I'm assuming it will lighten a little as we let it dry and then as we buff it out. I'm liking it. The mineral oil just makes it so dark. Everything is dark and it loses all of the, the contrast between the heart and the sapwood. So this seems to be still letting some of that come through, which is good, but it's sealing the board because when people put food on it, you don't want it to leave stains on the board and, and make it all nasty. So um, this will give it a great, um, a great finish, a great sealant finish. So let's finish, um, uh, finish, no pun intended, let's finish putting this on the whole thing then we'll let it dry, buff it out, see how it looks. I'm thinking it's gonna look amazing, but let's see. Okay, here we go, let's do some more. All right, there we go. That is all waxed up and frankly looking just stunning. Uh, I love it, especially on this end. Ah, that's beautiful. Woo! Okay, we're gonna let this sit and, and 
skin over, I guess you'd say. We're gonna let it dry so we can buff it out. And um, I'm gonna let it sit for maybe a couple of hours. And then we'll come back and we'll buff this out and see what the final product looks like. All right.